live from Studio 23. Walter Cronkston here, back at the anchor desk, because Hilly McNilly is at a broadcasting seminar. Dan Rather, his whereabouts are unknown, and Bob Lala, Bob Blah Blahs was last seen walking east on the Maisonneuve Boulevard following a member of the National Women's Water Polo Team. If you do see him, please let us know where he is. It was a wild weekend at St. Anne's for rugby. On Friday night, the Junior League played at the Cal St. George. We have some terrific video and reaction from the girls that played. Let's take a look. Walter Cronkstone here at the Friday night Junior League, which took place in the Cult St. George of St. Anne de Bellevue. What a great night. I have some of the biggest stars of the girls' game over here. Hey, hey old school, over here. Come in, girls, right over here. This is Kim Carrier and um, and Hilly McDilly. Yeah, she fired me, I know, but what would you think of the game, girls? It was great. It was yeah. great. Very, yeah. very close game. Okay, awesome. thank you very much. I know your mother's waiting for you. Bye. Okay, we've got a couple of players from the other team. Quickly, come over here. Let's go, quickly. Quickly, come on. We don't have all day here. Let's go. Come on. Okay, we can do it. Yeah. Two former Mac players here were in the game. They played a great game. Girls, they played an awesome game. Congratulations on the big win. Thanks. I forgot your name? Cynthia. Cynthia. Sam. 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 Here, live at Ecole St. George. See you guys later. Yep, you want them? Okay, mother's calling them. Okay, see you later. On Saturday, all three men's teams played at home. It was a terrific day. The thirds won, and all, all everybody got in a good game. Uh, the seconds played a fantastic game and won. And uh, in the first game, there was uh, an incident, and the game ended 15 minutes early. Uh, it was very unfortunate. The ref had been refing a good game, but there had been a lot of uh, a lot of talking from both sides. He had refed uh, an earlier game. I think he was tired and overheated. And after after scoring a try, uh, and before the uh, the conversion, uh, he he blew the game up. Um, the players um, seemed to take it in stride. Uh, everybody stuck around and drank a bit. But we do have, um, we do, there was one incident where one of the players seemed to take out his frustration um, in a strange way. Uh, we'll go to the video and you'll judge for yourself. <laughs> Crockstone's working hard. Yes, I know that's me, but I'm working hard to, uh, to get back on the um, regular um, payroll. And I got a couple of uh, interesting interviews uh, while I was at Annie's. Just take a look at this. Crockstone here with another report from Annie's. Getting a lot of assignments, and I really want to thank all you people for writing in and telling the, uh, the station that you want me back, because uh, it's working, and maybe I'll be back full time soon. But, anyways. Robbie Austin's over there. He played in his first game today in seven months yeah. since his operation. I can't even tell you what that means to Robbie and to his family. What a great moment. His father, hi John, and his little brother, his little brother, um, Joe, Joe. Joel Austin is older than him, but we do call him the little brother. That's cool. We're Dr. Robbie. Come on. Oh. 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 Robbie, sorry, Robbie Austin, Robbie Austin, Robbie Austin played his first game after his operation seven months ago. Let me, let me on, take Robbie. this away. Tell us, tell us how it felt. Great, yeah. great. Did you, did you call your parents right after the game? Can I, I did. Can I win that? Ah, <laughs> Crockstone! <laughs> Robbie Austin, Crockstone, reporting live. Nice. On Sunday, the West Island Mini Rugby took over to Col St. George. There was another huge crowd, almost 200 people there. Uh, I've got a couple of interviews with some older um, players whose kids are playing. And a fantastic, uh, what are they doing now? Uh, just take a look at these. Emily Thomason, you just played in your first uh, rugby game? Uh, no, it's like my second. But is it the first time you've played with guys? No. No? How did you enjoy it today? Um, it's the Barhaven team. Uh, well, they're, they're big yeah. and weird and yeah. scary. <laughs> and how about your brother Dan? Do you miss him? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's coming home, I heard. Yeah, tomorrow yeah. at yeah. seven-ish. Yeah, so we're at the Mini Rugby on Sunday. There's a huge crowd here from RCM downtown and from um, and from Barhaven in... Um, in um, 
in Ottawa, and uh, a couple of girls from the uh, Saints came to help out. How did it go, girls? It went really well. Yeah. Enjoyed working with the little kids? Yeah. Yeah. Come back next week? Yeah. Probably not. I'm away at camp. I will. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Bill, Bill O'Neill, you played here 20 years ago on this field. Now you're back with watching your kids play in the mini rugby. How does it feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And what except, have you been? Except my son is much better at it than I ever was. And what have you been doing lately? And why do they call you Duck? <coughs> the hat. Yeah. It all goes back to the hat. It was a hat that came from your mother's store that uh, Serge got, I stole from him, w showed up and Gary Peacock dubbed me Dick Tracy and Jay Baker changed it to Duck Tracy. It became Duck. Duck live that's, at a Calcane that's George. The real, that's the real story. <laughs> Conk most, Stone. Most Conk Stone out, but Duck's going to keep But Duck's going to keep going. No, I'm done. Bob, uh, you played on this field. You were a great player. Now you're out here watching your kid play under 16s. Probably the first under 16s game in the province. How does it feel? Oh, it's a great, yeah. great, great thing. And yeah. you guys are doing a great job. Yeah. And he can attach a barbecue uh, a barbecue container now. Yeah, that was apparently yeah. the first thing he learned. It wasn't yeah. how to drop kick or anything. It was how to contain yeah. you know, barbecue. And apparently he can pour a beer. Yeah. yeah. Well, now he can, yeah. And you're not planning to sue? No, not yet. Excellent. Yeah. Bob. Uh, you know, you played here on this field, I guess, 20 years ago. You were a big star in the wing. Now <laughs> yeah, you're watching your son play? I'm watching my son play, yeah. and uh, we, we, we had our first game, and uh, I think we did pretty well there against uh, the Montreal team, and uh, hoping to do just as well in this Barhaven. Oh, is, is you have someone playing in Barhaven? Or? My son's not playing right yeah, now. Yeah. I have to go to a birthday yeah. party. Go for it. Nathan, your boy's playing. How do you like it? Oh, it's a lot of fun. First yeah. season for him to play, and he's yeah. enjoying it immensely. Very That's cool. awesome. You having a good time yourself? Oh yeah, I enjoy yeah. watching the boys play. It's a lot. Yeah, has anyone called you lately? I see you got the phone there. Yeah, my wife <laughs> five times. That's it for this week. I don't know if you'll see me at the um, anchor desk again. Hilly will be um, Hilly be back. I I did try to um, I did try to clean up my act. Uh, okay. Stop rolling here. Thank you.